I'm guessing you're thinking about getting some kind of crochet style. That's why you clicked on this video. And I have some things I think you should consider before you go through with it. Yes, before. So I'm glad you're here. And I have some good, but also some not so good things. So for the sake of your scalp and your edges, I would stay tuned. <laughs> so let me keep this off by saying I am not a licensed hairstylist, hair professional at all. I'm literally just a girl who's been natural for five years that does her own hair most of the time. But what qualifies me to talk about this today is the fact that in the last year I have had a crochet style three different times and this is the only time, yes this what I have in my hair right now is the only time where I feel like I got it right. So let me explain. So I started off last May and I got the extra large and extra long. I think they were 22 inch. And let me tell you, first of all I didn't realize crochet was so easy. I really was concerned that I wasn't going to be able to figure it out. But I had my mom braid my hair down. Um, I went to the store, got the hair, got a crochet needle, and went to town. And within, I would say probably three hours that first time, um, I did end up having to go back and get another pack of hair. But for the most part, in three hours, I had that style done. And I loved it. It was a lot of hair. <laughs> they were pretty soft too. I don't think those were really heavy. I think those were on the softer side. But it was just a lot of hair, y'all. Like 22 inches of twists. Those things were so long. And they like bounced. Like they did this thing where when I walked, they would bounce and not really always in a cute way. If I can compare it to something, it kind of reminds me of like those big sloshy things when you go get your car washed, like that just kind of flap around and like bounce up and down as you go through washing your car. Yeah, that's kind of what they looked like while I walked. So it was kind of strange, I'm not gonna lie to you, the look of them. And also, I did not necessarily like the ends of them. So they didn't look natural. And that was actually one of my main concerns with crochet and why it took me so long to even try it because I was concerned that they didn't really look natural. The ends looked like the bottom of a slinky. Like I kid you not, they just kind of like spiraled down into like a cone. They looked like long bugles. Like you know the, the bugle chips that go like this down into like a cone? It looked like that but like a slinky. Are you guys following me at all? I don't know. But anyways, it was just a really weird look on the ends. And so it was cute though from a distance, from pictures. Like I, I felt like, okay, this is cute. I'm gonna rock this. But I knew immediately that they were too long. And I don't think length is a problem if you're gonna keep them in for like a week or you just want something quick, a quick different style. But I had the intention of keeping these in as a protective style that I could keep in for like five weeks, maybe six weeks. And let me just spoil it right now, that did not happen. So <laughs> I kept them in, but my issue with those ones were that hair started um, really sticking out. And I am, if you've seen my like natural hair journey video, I am a neat freak when it comes to my hair. Like my mom set me up that way when I was little. She used to just have my hair laid at all times. And so once stuff starts looking messy, it's time to go, you gotta go. Um, so there were hairs just sticking out of it, so I kept trimming them with scissors, but it felt like the more I cut, the more I had strands just sticking out. And I don't know if that's because of the brand of the hair that I got or whatever, but, and I took care of them very well. And I would wrap a scarf around my edges and like an extra large bonnet around the hair part. So they were very well taken care of, so there was really no reason for them to be sticking out like that, unless I'm just a really wild sleeper. That's a possibility too. Anyways, but yeah, so that first go round was kind of tough and I lasted y'all, I think a week and a half. I might have made it two weeks, maybe. And I was like, absolutely not. So I took them out, I let it go, and then in September, I was like, okay, we're gonna try this again. But it was a fail again. Few things that went wrong. So I was home for the weekend and I was in a super rush to just get them in. So I had my mom braid my hair up and did not even think, if y'all have black mamas who braid, you know that they snatch every hair and follicle by default. Like that's just how they braid. They will snatch all your neck hairs, every piece of hair. I mean, my eyebrows used to be permanently up here when I would get my hair braided when I was younger. So it's like, that's her default. So I forgot to mention the fact that with crocheting, you cannot braid hair to the scalp because you're sticking a needle through the braid 
Let me demonstrate. So with crochet, you are sticking this needle here through the braid, like through the what's underneath the braid, through that to loop an entire twist, jumbo twist, whatever you decide to put in there, it's got to fit through there. And so I forgot to mention it, I was just kind of in a hurry. The other problem with rushing to do it is I didn't deep condition my hair or I don't even think I washed it the day of. I know I had washed it maybe a few days before, but you know, I had a few days of like wear, probably some buildup starting to happen and I didn't rewash it. I didn't deep condition it for it to be braided up for weeks. What I did was I just wet my hair, blew it dry real fast, didn't put a whole lot of like care and love into it, had her braided up. She just automatically braided it to the scalp and put in several braids. And I know I kind of instructed her on the braids part and didn't think about the fact that I don't need that many braids. Yeah, I was, I was all off the mark. I did not do my research appropriately. Um, so she did these tons of braids. They were braided to the scalp. And then I had got a different texture hair than the first time. So like I said, the first time it was like bouncy and light, and you know, not like super heavy. Well, the second go round, I don't know what it was. I probably should have like stuck my finger into the packaging at the store to feel it. But it was definitely more of like a coarse type hair and it was pretty heavy. Like, and I probably wouldn't have noticed it with each individual strand, but child, by the time I had all them things in my head, my head felt terrible. And I knew like while I was sticking the needle through because it was so tight, I already knew that I was like breaking off hair and doing stuff. And why I continued, y'all, I, re I really don't know. I don't know why I continued, especially because they were so jumbo that the loop itself was pretty thick. So I'm already sticking a needle in a super tight braid, fairly tight braid, looping it around, then pulling back through this thick loop and then tying it around and tightening it. So by the time I was done, because again, in my head, I'm thinking I have to fill every space on these braids. Not the case, not the case at all. So I filled every space pretty much on those braids and my head weighed 5,000 pounds. Like I had a migraine for probably a week after that. It was, it was terrible. It was terrible. And I was trying to like play it off like, no, I'm good, no, I'm good. But looking back, I'm like, girl, that was not it. I don't know what you were doing. And then the last fail that happened with those ones is my mom braided my hair straight back and we didn't do anything <laughs> We didn't do anything productive with the braids that were hanging off the ends. So most times people like loop them back through the braids so that they're like tucked in. By my instruction, because we didn't know what else to do, she just kind of braided them together into two big braids and then like tried to pin them up with like bobby pins. <laughs> and then my bright self tried to like just put crochet twists around this like big chunk of braided whatever that was like back here absolute fail I mean the braids eventually started unwinding and it was a hot mess catastrophe so even though these pictures look really great especially because I had a photo shoot you can even kind of tell there that I had entirely too many twists in my head like it just it was a lot going on for my scalp so I kept it in I know those I kept in for about five and a half weeks how I lasted that long I'm not really sure but it happened and yeah there was definitely some significant damage the other fail I almost forgot to mention this was that I was starting to get lazy and thought okay I have this big bonnet on the bonnet has an elastic band it comes here I'll be fine I don't always need to tie my scarf around my edges not do as I do at least in those cases don't do as I do that was a bad idea I literally could see the difference of like my edges falling out like my edges was like oh okay so this is how you gonna do cool well we out and you can just play games by yourself and have bald edges and I was like oh my god what am I doing like literally when I took that crochet hair out I literally just stared in the mirror after washing my hair like 
you're trifling. Like, you're, you're absolutely trifling. It was so trifling that I did a whole blog post about it. Like, mayday, mayday. Learn from me. If you're gonna get crochet, please do not do it like this. <laughs> Learn from my mistake and don't do it like this. So yeah, that second round, which you would think would have gotten better than the first round, actually was like 50 times worse. And honestly, I put myself on probation from crochet. I was like, you're on punishment, you don't get to do this for a while. So it's been since about September or October, whenever I took those out, and this past May was the first time that I decided to try crochet again. And this time was the glory. I finally got it right, and it's actually a surprise because I did not think that I was gonna even go with this style. I never thought I had the face or the whatever for dreadlocks or the swag for dreadlocks. I feel like you gotta have a certain look, a certain swag, and I'm just like, I don't have that. So I'm never gonna mess around with goddess locks or dreadlocks. And so I went in and saw these and was like, okay, this is gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous. And so it took me at least a half hour to decide on what style of goddess locks I wanted. They had the thicker ones, they had some that were like really curly, curly and I was like really not trying to look like I got curly fries in my hair not trying to look like Sid the science kid like no thank you so I saw these that were they called wavy goddess locks I got the brand Afra hair I think it's called I got the wavy goddess locks I want to say it was 16 inch maybe 14 or 16 inch and I just got all the same kind um, I got one B I think maybe something like that I really should have taken note of this for you guys I really do apologize but yeah so I got the wavy goddess locks I was very hopeful I was actually kind of nervous because I'm like you know how beauty stores are y'all they do not let you bring back no hair and I guess I get it but I was like Lord I'm gonna get eight packs of this hair and it was the double packs too so I'm gonna get eight packs of this hair and then I'm gonna put it in and I'm gonna hate it and then what like what so I spent about $50 total for the hair um, which actually isn't bad in my opinion for the fact that I don't have to pay somebody to put it in I'm doing it myself like $50 for an entire new look whereas people are out here paying $200, $300 for sewing to get the hair and you get somebody to put it in I'm like crochet is in the budget so I was happy with the price tag the twist when I did them I spent even less I want to say $38 maybe $40 but anyway, got my hair braided up. We made sure to do less braids. I did 10 braids all the way across. She did them straight back. Did them a lot looser than the last time. And then I had my friend, who is a hairstylist and knows what she's doing, has done this many times before, had her uh, crochet the um, ends of the braid, so the part that was like hanging off my head. She crocheted it back up through the braid, kind of like weaved it in and out so that it would be out of the way, which has been a godsend. Like, it made such a difference not to have, like, this pack of braids at the back of my neck that I'm trying to hide. So especially because when you do that, you can't wear a ponytail. But this is, like, so loose and free and just, I really love this, guys. So let me tell you why this one worked out better. Yes, because I did less braids. Yes, because we did it looser. I also didn't worry about putting um, one of these on each and every piece of the braid. You can't even tell. And honestly, with the loop, um, with the knot that's at the root, it covers a lot of space as well. So honestly, it wasn't an issue at all. And I love this look. I've had these in for four weeks. I think four weeks, going on four weeks maybe. Um, but yeah, they're just, I, I literally feel like I could keep them in a whole nother month. Like, if I really wanted to, I feel like I could. They're so easy. You can do so many different styles with it. This hair is so light, you guys. I don't even feel like I have any other hair but my own. Like, you know how sometimes when you wear those big heavy styles and you take them out and you feel like, oh my gosh, 50 pounds just released from my neck and like, am I bald? Where's my hair? Like, this feels like my hair. So I'm pretty sure it's not going to be a difference when I take it out. But this was just enough for me it eased me into like the dreadlock world and this will not be the last time at all that you see me with these I absolutely love them absolutely love them this bonnet right here this extra large oversized bonnet will be your best friend literally you can just swoop all your hair 
you can just swoop all your hair around into the bonnet. It just kind of sits and lays. Usually I do it a lot more pretty than that, but I'm just trying to do it for you guys. But this is perfect because it covers everything. And you don't have to worry about like, oh, I can't sleep a certain way so that all my twists don't fall out. Nah, they're secure. So get one of those extra large bonnets and I'll make sure to link the one that I have in the description box. Another thing, sis, you have to tend to your edges when you have these crochet styles in. I know it feels like, oh, my hair is braided down. I'm fine, I don't have to worry about my edges. No ma'am, no ham. So sis, you gotta style your edges. <laughs> like crochet, your edges are exposed. Like you can see my edges are exposed. So don't just leave them looking like one big afro. Unless that's the kind of style you like. I don't wanna squash your dreams and your vibe if that's your vibe. But this go around, I've been using Murray's uh, beeswax, or edge wax, excuse me. And this has been so clutch of just like I'll put a little bit on at night and kind of form it to whatever I want it to look like and then put my scarf on and tie it down. And sometimes in the morning I do have to do a little touch up, but not much, like this lays me down. So I've been using this to take care of my edges, this go around with this look. And honestly, I'm telling you, I could keep this in for another month. Like I don't even care, I love this so much. And another plus about these goddess locks is that I don't have that issue of like hair sticking off the edge, really. Um, and if they do, you can't really tell because of the dread look. Like, this is clutch. If you're looking for a crochet style and you can swing this for the summer, I would go ahead and take the leap and do goddess locks. I just really feel like you can't go wrong with these. Like, I'm living my best goddess locks life. <laughs> Um, so yeah, I would recommend these for sure. They're light, easy, just like natural hair. So go for it. So please, if you're deciding to go after some goddess locks or any kind of crochet style and any of this is helpful for you, please let me know about it in the comments. I really like hearing feedback from you guys and knowing that what I'm putting out is actually making a difference for you. So if you use any of these tips or you want to add a few tips to my list, make sure you put them in the comments so all our naturalistas that find this video can get the tips that you have to share as well well so that we can all just be snatched and slayed because that is the goal always whether this is your first video or you've been rocking with me since February 25th when I dropped my first video I just want to say thank you and I hope you'll stick around for other videos we talk about all things here from God to hair to life to vlogs to friends to everything in between so I really hope that you'll take some time to press the subscribe button make sure you turn on the notification bell so that when I drop videos you don't want to be the last to find out you want to be the first to find out so make sure you hit the notification bell like subscribe share do all that great stuff so that i can keep doing what i'm doing with all that said i will see you guys in the next video bye